So I'm going to be kind of talking about myself a little bit in this video. Um, and one of the, the things that happened to me, I was probably in my mid-twenties at the time. And I was in college. And it was a relationship I was in. And it was so bizarre because I had been working on myself. I had been doing a lot of journaling, a lot of uh, looking at the ways I talk to myself, introspection, that type of thing. Reading spiritual texts, psychology books, that sort of stuff, trying to implement all those things. And I remember, you know, I had the theory in my head almost, you know, I had the ideas were there, but I wasn't really, I hadn't integrated them. I hadn't found out for myself, oh my God, they're actually true. Okay, this is real. And in this relationship, what happened was I had a sense of being um, unfulfilled. Now, it wasn't even a relationship. This was like a very short lived thing. You know, it didn't, you, you wouldn't even call it a relationship. But it was very powerful because I remember feeling really bad emotionally about it. And I remember the day it happened. I was going about my day and I felt I was carrying this feeling. This feeling was of just feeling not good enough. You know, feeling, I think that's what it meant, but it was just in me. I didn't know what it meant, but it was just a feeling I had in my body. Like, oh my God, I feel so bad. I feel terrible. So I actually remember I decided, okay, I'm actually, I'm actually going to go home. I'm actually, it was, it was that, it was like that. And, you know, luckily for me, I had the, the luxury to do that, I suppose, but I could have stayed. I could have just battled through that feeling, but something in me, maybe from the work I had done before, reading the theory of all of this stuff, something in me said, no, actually, it's a good thing if you actually go home and, and, uh, be with this emotion. So I got home and decided I was going to do some journaling with the feeling as it was right there. It was present. It was, it was really active. It was inflamed, intense. And I just started to write and I started to write and write and write. And I just gave myself permission to say whatever it is the feeling wanted to say. And I was actually amazed because the, what came on the page was horrendous stuff. It was really nasty stuff. I was writing about myself, how I actually felt about myself, how worthless I was and how uh, unworthy and, you know, all the shortcomings that I saw in myself. And at the end of it, you know, I actually, all of a sudden, as soon as I had written it all out and I looked at it, that's when it happened. That is when it happened. What happened, you say? It was I realized I am doing this to myself. That was the realization. And with that, it was like a weight just right off my shoulders. I realized it had nothing to do with the person I was in this relationship with, this non-existent relationship, really. It was at very early stages. And my reaction to it was way too intense for, for where it was. So I had this sense of how can I feel this way about this person when, and you know, blame the relationship or blame them for the emotions I have when I am talking to myself like this, here I am criticizing, judging myself, despising myself writing horrible things about myself. So that was a part of myself that I had completely just repressed, didn't want to look at it, didn't want to look at my own self judgments, didn't want to look at my own self hate, my own self loathing, pushed it away. And then I projected it out onto something else. At that moment, the relationship, I just completely let it go. You know, it was just a non issue. It never crossed my mind after that. You know, I think I saw the person again a few times, but totally different energy like it was just night and day so really the point of this is what is the realization that we get from doing inner work having insights or spiritually awakening i suppose it is a realization 
and this has been said the the book of course in miracles says this other other spiritual texts say this people who have attained it have said this they realize it always comes with one realization i am doing this to myself so it's about taking complete honesty complete responsibility for how we feel how we treat ourselves and reversing the projections that we have on situations and people in our lives so practically speaking again i'm going to recommend that you start to journal if you're not already journaling give yourself permission to be horrible to yourself when you journal and also to be nice to yourself when you journal so it's both um, as i said in my past video it's about having a balance between the two sides the the shadow side and uh, the side that's genuine the side that's you the loving side of yourself and you'll be amazed you'll be realizing you know okay am i talking to myself in any kind of negative way here why am i blaming anyone else for this if i'm doing that to myself if i stop doing it to myself then maybe i can look at other people but until then i'm just going to work on myself and uh, i'm not going to worry about what anyone else thinks of me and it's so liberating and it is the great thing about it is you have complete control over that once you realize you've been using these attack thoughts against yourself okay well i can stop doing that because i have control of myself okay a bit of a personal story for me today but uh, maybe it'll help some people if you would like to contact me you can always do that through my website uh, where i do one-to-one -one sessions on anything any issue um, usually emotional freedom is what i work with with people but uh, you can do that at visiting drdavidmaloney.com you can send me an email or you can um, you can that's probably the handiest way to do it really is just go to my website i'm on facebook as well but uh, if you want to find that stuff you'll find it um, guys thanks a million for watching this i hope it helped and uh, any questions send them my way and i will talk to you again soon bye for now